these are two teams that play similarly. The X factor to me is Samuel. He's the one big that Texas Tech does not have a real answer for. And now they have the 6'8 TJ Holyfield defending Samuel. The 6'11. But as you alluded to, Lance, the other side of that is the defensive end for Samuel, who will be matched up against a smaller player. Payne with one on the shot clock. And maybe the guy who's missed a little bit of time with a back strain. They missed him in the lineup. Yeah, and Shannon is one of the reasons scouts are in the house because he can do that. The big get caught out on him. The help side has to come and come early to help on Shannon. Looking for Samuel, but he's fronted by Edwards and the three. Yeah, they're, they're not everywhere. It's not concentrated. Yeah, they're not concentrated in one block. And there's Gerald Marsh, by the way, who's former head basketball coach and athletic director at Texas Tech. Uh, I had the honor of talking to Coach Myers before. We just talked about Chris Beard and the, I mean, Coach Myers helped set the foundation for what you're seeing here now at Texas Tech. The longtime coach spent so many like Chicago. I mean, this is a national brand now. Texas Tech is. And Oklahoma State and doing well as in addition to that, getting the younger brother of one of their assistants, Cannon, who's a five-star recruit to help out their class. That's on the deck. Wow. Back to Farabello. I'm not in range. Good job getting Moretti open and a poor job TCU getting over the screen. Outfits of rebound, third of the game for Kevin Samuel. There are a bunch of share bears. They share the ball like crazy, and it's been pretty impressive. Again, as we see Clark with the Mahomes just pass, and then of course Ramsey cutting. If you cut uh, from the afternoon he had in Norman on Saturday, yeah, and there was no question that was a design play in halftime. Coaches love when players can execute and finish plays that they've designed either halftime or Clark blocked by Samuel. With a sense of urgency from everyone, even the closeout. The last one was exceptional on Samuel. Dennis's three was short, didn't hit. Cleared space, ran into McCuller, gets the bucket. Yeah, McCuller couldn't stay in front of him and hold his position. Plays more like a big. Got to do a better job of sliding his feet and holding his ground defensively. See the baseline that well, but I thought he was a microsecond away from shooting the ball. Yeah, he did, but great players typically can make plays in the air. That's what he did after the little Euro step, hung in the air and found 